Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Earlier, we had Annie Nepomuceno and now we have Becca Godinas <laughs> on our show. A lot of singers have paid tribute to this woman for all her contributions in her work. And uh, Becca, you really started it all for the singer-songwriter in the Philippines. I, you know, it's so funny. Claim it. You did. Uh, I did. Diba? Kasi pag Pinoy tayo, we're so humble sometimes. <laughs> My dad said, let others toot the horn, not yourself. I will toot your horn. Oh, sige nga, thank you. And, and, I, and, I, and I, do, I owe a debt of gratitude to Odette because Odette, during her concert, mentioned it, but she is correct. I was the first actual pop singer-songwriter mm -hmm. in, in the Philippines, and I went, okay. Mm -hmm. I kind of erased it from memory, but yeah, I had come back from theater school here, but while in the theater, uh, before I went back to Manila, I was also writing music, because I just composed a lot, mm -hmm. you know, and so I did a lot of that, and on one wonderful night, we were sitting, a friend of mine and myself, and Vic Del Rosario from Vicor said, didn't you record with me before? Very small mm. uh, amount of time before I came to school. I said, yes, for a brief period. And then he says, do you have any new songs? I said, yeah, I wrote them. He said, let's hear. And he picked the first one, which was, initially I'd written it as Sam. It was in English. And he says, I don't write songs, but I can tell a hit song. So he asked if that song could be the first recording. But? George Canseco, famous George Canseco, uh, Vic says, I think it has to be in Tagalog. Oh. So not very many people know that George Canseco wrote the lyrics to that song. And it's my, it's all sort of like the Filipino boy from Ipanema, kind of. Uh, he changed the lyrics, but yeah, I, I, uh, I've been writing songs for a very long time. Uh oh. And, um, you know, there are a lot of Filipino Americans, uh, when they hear of OPM, mm -hmm it really brings them back to the time that they were living in Manila or in the Philippines, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, that's the power of music. It is the power of music. And here's the thing, I didn't really look, you know, to see that two, three, four people posted Missing You Again, Shining, mm -hmm. you know, the so Giggles. You all know, the all, songs. All, yeah, all from my first album. And I'm going, what? 30,000, 45,000 people. And I'm oh, like, oh. oh my goodness, what a blessing. Oh, oh. You know, because you kind of, you live here, you know, we live here and we make, you know, we bring our own stuff and it, that whole star thing is just a totally different, you know, you do everything for yourself. You go home, you put your jeans on and scrub the floor. Uh oh, <laughs> pero know? gusto ko yung buhay na ganun. Sa yeah, totoo I lang do, ah. I do too. Diba? I, I do. There's something to be said about dito sa Amerika, mas akala ng mga tao sa Pilipinas, ang sarap ng buhay mo, nasa, Pil nasa Amerika ka, di ba? But really, there's something to be said about being independent here. Correct. Na ikaw yung and, naglalaba, nagluluto, masarap kaya. And kayo. when you want the anonymity. Mm -mm. Kung talagang gusto mong quiet muna, wag muna, you know, you also have that privilege. But, you know, the blessing also is that I've been going back to Manila. And quite often. Quite often. And, yes. And I'll be back again. Mm -mm. Uh, and people are asking now, you know, will you do this show? Can you do that? You know, and I go, thank you. At this age. Oh, you know? But Becca, you're so rooted also in your faith. Yes, I am. And all the music that you do, you always acknowledge I do. your God, I right? Do. I do. That's uh, my so, peace. That's mm -mm. my wisdom. That's my, that's my everything. You know, the world could fall apart. I know where I'm going. You know, I, I know my destination. I know where I'm going. And that's peaceful. That's mm -hmm. very, very peaceful for a me. As we enter the holiday season, uh, we know that you created a Christmas album. I did. Right? Several years ago. But here's the thing. 30 years, I said, Father God, please give me an album. Please, I want a song. Please, uh, you know, it was not happening. Finally, on July of, I can't remember, two, th two years ago, all of a sudden, the things came together, uh -oh. you know, and I said, every song, Lord, will have you in it. And I will share two stories with you because I think it's important. The first one is this Christmas, hang all the mistletoe. Remember that song? Um, and as I was driving to the studio, I heard, I'm not in that song, Becca. R writing a bridge, Lord, writing a bridge. And I'm going, <laughs> 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 
trying to create oh. this bridge, you know. And I get to the studio and I have the skeleton of a bridge, and I I I work with Yong Nalasa. Mm -hmm. He's phenomenal, mm -hmm. phenomenal Yong. And so we work together on the bridge. It's just eight bars, you know. And then I after we were done with it and we were happy, I had a, a rough guide. I went to my publisher and I said, Ah. Uh, can you please get permission? He says, you're never going to get it. I go, what do you mean? What, try. And he goes, you're never going to get permission to put those eight bars in a song. I said, why? He says, number one, the author and writer and singer is dead. Mm -hmm. You know, he's passed away. Okay. Number two, they don't have the authority. Everything was, and I said, please, please, God told me. <laughs> That's my all authority. God and sure me. enough. He says, give me three to four months. About two weeks later, I'm driving in the car. Phone rings. He goes, Becca. I said, yes. Are you seated? I said, yes. I'm driving. And he said, I don't know how you did it, but you got permission. I'm the only one in the existence of the song that has been given permission to write a bridge to hang all the mistletoe. Of course, this is a classic right. Christmas song. So I put, God gave me the gift that I needed so open my heart in the moment I saw you. Oh, what a joyful day. Ayan na! Kumakanta na si Becca! Okay, huwag na natin itigil to. When we return, she will be serenading all of you with her beautiful voice. Don't go away!